Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today we got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff to get done. First thing is to walk this dog and so far it has not gone well. It's like every couple seconds she tries to go back home. She's kind of on therapy right now. She just tried to go home right there. This is her therapy, walking on lead. She used to walk this every day, three times a day, and fetch a stick the whole time. Now she's afraid to even come down here. We're not sure what happened to her, if anything. She's just kind of... Kind of neurotic to start with. I don't know if that's the breed or what. And again, if you know anything about a fearful dog like this, please put it in the comments. I'd like to hear about it. But we read that uh, when they're super fearful like this, to walk them on lead because they feel a little safer. And that's what we're doing, or that's what I'm doing. Last time, when we got to this point, she was just fine. Right after this driveway here, she was just fine. And this time, she's, well, she was pretty fine for the whole way. This time, she's just crazy scared and wants to run back home. Now she, she's hitting on something. It might be coyote pee or something. And I don't think that's what she's afraid of because we've always had coyotes. All right, come on, pup. Let's walk. And that's Izzy. Izzy's not afraid, or that's Maisie. Maisie's not afraid of anything. All right, today the tin for the back part of the house is coming for the new addition. The addition project, I should call it. That's coming from the Amish, and I have no idea how it's coming. I don't think they're going to be driving it over here on a horse-drawn wagon. I think they just hire somebody to uh, drive them around, but we'll see. That's supposed to come in about an hour. I have some big lag screws that I have to countersink on... The addition there and I have to trim out the doors bunch of miscellaneous stuff on that I have to burn the burnables and just a lot of little stuff that has to be done it's been incredibly windy for the last three days so I've been doing inside stuff the whole time so I gotta get out and get a lot of stuff done today and this is how she was last time, but she didn't get this way until right over there about where the cat is. She's walking just fine. She's walking at the end of the lead, not hanging a little bit behind me. Doesn't seem scared. Ah, puppy. Oh, I gotta watch out. You don't wanna break YouTube. That's my good girl. Nothing to be afraid of, nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, maybe we'll get back to throwing sticks. That would be so much fun, huh? All right, I'm going to walk her back and get to work. We have to head back, kitty. Maisie May. We have to head back. I saw her sister yesterday. She lives in Milwaukee. She's a city girl. You wanna go back? Maisie, should we go back? All right, this dog's pulling on the lead, so. We better get going. Come on, kitty. 
Izzy, calm down. Calm down. That's my good girl. I let her off her lead and she's been kind of going back and forth and then she went way up by the driveway there and then came and ran all the way back to me. I'm hoping she doesn't just run home and hide in the greenhouse or something. If so, then I'll have to keep her on the lead the entire time. But she's acting pretty good. Oh, there's that scent that she was hitting on before. And for some reason, there always seems to be scent right in that same area. I don't know if it's something underground or if something just comes through here. Maybe there's a, a trail going through here. Well, so far so good. She's not bolting all the way home. I don't know if I mentioned, but wind bothers her as well. Makes all kinds of scary noises. That's a good girl. Look at her. That's my good puppy. All right, this is, oh, she's got a stick too. Oh, this is turning out to be a good walk. Let me see if I can find a stick to throw. Good girl. All right. This is a real good walk. Get a better stick. Izzy. Izzy. Look at this one. It's okay, honey. She's scared now. She wants to get around the corner. She'll drop the stick up there. That's kind of the normal behavior. For some reason, she doesn't like the entrance to the woods here. I stopped off at the shed here. This is a Forstner bit, and I believe it's going to work just fine for that size head. I got to go countersink all them big bolts. I got to find uh, a bit that fits them. I got to countersink or pull each bolt, countersink it a little bit, and then drive them back in. And I might as well get that done while I'm waiting for the tin. cat's in here hunting mice, so I think I'll leave the door open for her. The cat is out. She does not like getting locked into buildings like this. She's learned her lesson. The other cats haven't. If I start to leave, she'll come flying out, which she did. Good girl. Time to get to work. That was a good walk today, honey. Good girl. Oh, wrong way. Hey, that way. Hey, that way. 
There you go. That was pretty bad. All right, one more time, honey. Oh, she's even running down. Well, that's as far as she likes to run down the hill, and I can't throw it to the bottom to see if she's uh, if she's going to go all the way to the bottom to get it. But going into the woods down at the bottom scares her these days. All right, enough of this nonsense. So what I got to do on this stuff is get these flush with the surface. Okay, right off the bat, I have a problem. This says T40. I believe these are the same ones that are on there. Well, let's just double check because I have a bunch of T30s and I have T50s. Um, that, those actually might be bigger than that. So let me grab a T50 and see if that's what it is. Okay, I know I saw one in here. It's a big fat thing. That is a T50. See if that fits. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, these are bigger. That's probably an eight inch. All right, let's go get this chucked up and pull one of these out, countersink it, and resync it. to use two hands on this. Perfect. Well, that wasn't that hard, except for uh, keeping that centered because it already had a hole there. It's got a little like starter spike on the center, but if that's flopping around in a hole, it's not that easy. So you got to kind of really hold the drill and let it flop around a little bit until it catches. Okay, so I have one, two, three more. And then I think I have some under the tape up there. So I'm going to have to cut the tape, pull it out, and then put a new piece of tape on up there. So it's not going to be that easy, but let's get at it. All right, I almost forgot about the Amish guy. I'm going to have to set up some boards. I don't want that tin right on the ground. So I got to find some boards that are oh, in the three foot wide range and get, you know, four or five, maybe six of them laid out right here. Hopefully he can just back right into here and we can get it onto them boards and then get it weighted down. <sighs> yeah, I'll do that and then get back onto this. All right, now I just gotta measure these out. Longest pieces are the very top pieces for the sides and they're 20 feet long, so I'll get this, oh, about 18 feet between the first one and last one, even these up, and that should do it. Okay, that should do it. 
Nothing like a major wind to show you what's not tied down. Got a little bit of foam here, that's to be expected. We got a pool there. Looks like a bucket through there. Some paper there. And if I walk down in here, I'm gonna find a whole bunch more stuff. I'm gonna have to walk Izzy on the rock road on the next walk so that I can see if there's trees down there. When uh, hunters come next time for gun hunting, we got to make sure there's no trees down on the road because they'll be taking the gator to pull any deer out of the woods. And it just takes a lot of time to clear trees from the road. Oh yeah, there's a lot of junk in there. <sighs> Another thing to do. There shouldn't be so much stuff that's uh, not tied down up here that can blow away. That's my fault. I got the first four done and my hands are freezing. It looks like it's gonna snow. There's no snow in the forecast for the next four days, but it sure looks like it. It's supposed to be sunny today. Hopefully this will change, but it really looks like it's gonna snow. I better get moving, I'll get the ones on the other side. And then I have to get up on a ladder for these. That's gonna kinda suck. All right, hopefully I can do this one-handed. I have a piece of tin. This is the tin we're using. If I can... See, it's bumped out a good deal towards the bottom here. But I'm wondering if I just put a screw right where my thumb is. I'm going to have to let it bump out because the plastic from the window where it crosses in the corner, that's just the way it is. And this screw, these are all right next to that. Here it is right here. So if I put a screw and screw this in up here and let it lap over that stuff, that's probably the best thing to do. I'm not sure how it's gonna look like at the end where it goes back to being flat but I think I can use the screws to my advantage and hopefully it won't show, but I'm just gonna leave these alone. They're under the, the tape and I think I wanna leave them that way. Okay, this is gonna be very interesting. I have like cover strips for the center that I'm just gonna slide in there, but that has to go over the lower stuff, which shouldn't be hard. I can just dye my lower stuff out in here and then run that stuff down so it's flush with this. And then it, it can stick out a bit if it needs to. But I think on these lower ones, I'm gonna take the oscillating saw and I'm gonna cut one of the corners off and then caulk that. The upper one has to go underneath but I think all I'm going to do is I have it hemmed on both sides, take off the hems, flatten it out a bit, and then just nail it up there with a, a roofing nail. And that upper stuff, like I just showed you, is going to have to cover a bunch of stuff. In the end, I think it's going to work out just fine, but time will tell. The tin should be here. It is after 10, so the tin should be here any time now. So I'm all done with this stuff. And I believe, I, oh, where is that? Yeah, I got a screw hanging out right here. So I got to get that screwed in. And then I believe I'm done. And then I got to get on to the, the J channel and the brow for the doors. Oh, and I have like that screw right there. There's probably one like that on the other side as well. I'll have to pull that and get that countersunk. Oh, there's one there too, and one there. Okay, got a bit more work to do. All right, I got this one and this one flushed up. Got one more up there, but I noticed that these are proud as well. There's one here and one down there, and a 5 8 inch spade bit would countersink those perfect. But I believe I took that back over to the shed when I cleaned. I also noticed that this tin isn't nailed in down here. I stopped right there. So I need like four more nails in this. 
I do have to put tin around the door as well, so I got to get that stuff out as well. Yeah, that's one thing about about having all the tools on hand. It's just so much easier than walking, you know, several hundred feet over to the shed. But exercise never hurt anybody. All right, so I'm going to go get that spade bit, get this finished up, and see what it looks like on the other side. I might have the same stuff going on there. Okay, found it. Now i got to get this cat out of here. There she goes. All right, this side is all flush. Now I gotta run to the other side and see if I have the same situation in this corner here. And then I need to get the J channel and that uh, brow on top of the door on both sides. And then I guess it's just like going around and checking for staples that are, that are too proud. All right, got a bunch on this side too. Got two big ones up there. And one, two, three, four of the medium sized ones, and another medium sized one right there. So I'm gonna get these all countersunk, and hopefully that tin arrives. It really looks like it's gonna snow. Got some real menacing skies there, but I don't know. Let's get this done real quick. All right, it is 11 o'clock, and still no tin. The skies are clearing up though, which is nice. All right, I have everything all flushed up on this door and I even cut off, I had a little bit of a, of a ear sticking out on the sill. I cut that flush because I'm gonna put the J channel all the way down to the bottom here. That side's already flush. I don't know why that was hanging over. But while we're down here, take a look at this caulk. Not only is it discolored, but it's peeling away, you know, in the worst way, allowing water to get down behind it. I'm going to have to cut that out of there and re that. Maybe it was a little bit of settling that did that, but it's, it's peeling away right there as well. So I'm going to have to fix that, but I don't think I'll fix it this winter. I'm going to have to wait until spring for that. I'll cut all this stuff away re and then I have to paint these frames. I have to fill the holes, paint these frames, do all that stuff, and I have to do it up there as well. There's just going to be no time this year, so I'll have to wait till spring. So right now I'm going to go pull the J channel out, and I'm hoping I have the lashes for both these doors. I thought I bought it, but I'm not sure right now, so let me go look. Okay, I'm not seeing it offhand. You know what? I'm not seeing the J channel either. I'm seeing some black stuff, but I need white. I may need to exchange this black J channel for white J channel, but uh, let me dig through this pile and see if I can find. Oh, it might be. 
it might be in there. Let me go look there. Well, that's a no. I had it sitting on top of this drywall lift and I brought it back out there when I was cleaning. So let me dig through that pile and see if I got it. Man, that sun feels good. You got more clouds coming though. What I'm doing right now is taking the oscillating tool and cutting off these corners. All this stuff together just stacks up way too thick. Each of these corners has a plastic weld and I think I'm going to take the oscillating tool and trim a little bit of that off as well. But with it all stacked up, this is, you know, way out here and my tin is going to come up and hopefully it's just going to rise up above this thickness right here. These are the the corner plastics and then come right into here into this brick molding and it should look just fine as long as I don't have all that stuff in there because I have fillers that go in here as well which are right here. I actually thought I might have thrown these away. I had a huge load of stuff that I took to the dump and this was in there in the bottom or at least I thought it might have been, but it wasn't. I went and got this right after I went to the dump, so it was all good. So, like I said, I'm going to go back and flush this up a little bit. And this one actually had a screw in it. And then I cut the corner off of that, took the screw out and cut the corner. So I'm going to flush that up, put a little dab of caulk in that hole. And then I'm going to continue on down and get these other two and then go to the other side. Still waiting on that tin. I forgot to mention I could not find white J channel. I'm trimming these doors out in white and no brow. So I have none of the tin for this. I do have three black J channel. So I'm going to exchange them when he gets here. He's not going to have it with him, but I'm going to have him take that stuff with him back. So I'll have to run to the Amish and get the tin for that. So I'll probably do that later tonight. Possibly when I pick up Natalie, but I just wanted to show you this last one. Look at how much that sticks out. You have this plastic weld on top of this other plastic weld, and that is sticking out a good half inch. You can see on this one, I cut off the corner and then flushed it up. Now it's actually behind these screws here. So I'm going to do that all the way around and should be good to go. done trimming on both sides and it's snowing out. You can see these are like little chunks. It's like little hail. It's not going to last long, but kind of sucks. All right, it is almost lunchtime and the Amish guy is not here yet, so I'm just going to go have lunch. I'm like at a standstill right now. I don't think there's anything I can do. So I'll go do that. And if he's not here by the time I'm done with lunch, I think I'm going to run over to his shop and pick up that J molding and see what's going on. I forgot to mention the core event that goes on the bottom, just like that, only it's three inches wide. That comes tomorrow and hopefully it comes early because we have four days of fairly nice weather much warmer than today and sunny, but it's going to be a bit windy. So if that comes late tomorrow, if I can't get it on by the end of the day tomorrow, that'll eat into the next day and I'll only have two days to put this siding on. I don't know how long the siding's going to take. It could go on really quick, 
but nothing ever does so I'm gonna say no it's not gonna go on really quick it's gonna take a while so I'm hoping this all works out I mean then after that we have two days of snow so hopefully I can at least get the bottom on so I'm not kneeling down in snow and then it warms up a little bit again right around 40 40 can be pretty damn cold if you got a little bit of wind especially if there's no sun so I really got to get this stuff done as soon as possible. So hopefully that core event comes on time tomorrow. Okay, it is after lunch and she was crazy scared again on that first half of the walk. Then I just let her off on the second half. She ran all the way past the end down into the lot down there and then came back to check in with me then ran up there again and now she's trying to get me to throw this junky stick right here she's having a good old time it was the first part of the walk that she didn't want to go on let's find you a real stick honey she seems just fine right now this is her normal old self i can't throw that Let's find you a stick. Zero fear right now. That's a good girl. Good girl. She keeps checking down the road to see if something's coming, but at least she's playing. Every time she picks up the stick, she looks down the road to see if something's coming. Oh, she didn't do it that time. She did it right there. All right, Izzy and I are gonna head over to the Amish right now and return that J channel and get the right stuff. I just looked at the weather. It's going to be like eight degrees cooler tomorrow, but less wind, so it really doesn't matter. I gotta get the J channel and get it completely prepped tomorrow and then we have two days to get the siding on. Izzy and I are on the way back from the Amish and these people put this pole barn in or it's actually a garage they put it in last year it's a three-car garage and they're getting a well put in that's a well rig right there $35,000 to put a well in up here. We just got the bill for our well for replacing the pump and all that pipe. Got the bill last night and it is 5200 I believe. 5200 The price of the pumps went up. They're made in Germany. Everything costs more now because of COVID. And it should but I guess it is what it is. We found out that the Amish, uh, the Amish guy left, his name is Jacob. 
we found out that Jacob left right around noon and I believe it's right around 2 right now. So he's probably at the house right now or just about there. He had another stop to make as well. So hopefully we'll meet him there. But either way, we got our trim and he's bringing the tin. So we're good to go. Alright, I'm standing in the doorway of the greenhouse because it got real windy all of a sudden. The tin just got here. It's got a couple cover sheets on, but I think that's the actual tin right there. And it's got all kinds of gravel and a rock on it and stuff. I'm hoping this stuff isn't all scratched up. It better not be. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I'm going to rinse this off, cut this open, and see what I have. I actually have to run back to the Amish because he forgot the screws. So hopefully I can get started putting this up tomorrow, but the two days after tomorrow are the warm days. It's supposed to be in the 60s one of the days and the mid 50s the other day. So that's what I'm shooting for. You could see this stuff is going to go up fairly quick because it's really wide. And like the one piece at the bottom just has that one long big cut and then a, a small opening for that electrical box. So hopefully it doesn't take too much to get this up. So tomorrow I'm going to get all the trim on. I'm going to open this up, get the, go get the screws, and get this sorted out, and hopefully start cutting it. And then I'll have two full days to get this up. And hopefully it works. So if you want to see that stuff, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.